I was circling the theme burnout. It's something that I've written about before. And because I've written about it a lot and published about it a lot, I can see what sticks and what resonates. But I also wanted to bring to life the principles that we've discussed so far. The title is this, Why Always On Agency Life Is Causing Strategists to Burn Out. I'll usually use a weird title, but jam in a keyword as well so that the article is discoverable. And I remember writing this because the bulk of it I wrote on a plane on the way to Tampa, Florida. And I was thinking about the word burnout and burn and flames. And I knew that I wanted to start with a hook. And I wanted that hook to be something that had nothing to do with the industry. And then after a while, I realized that I'd read something that week, which turns out to be an April Fool's prank. So April 1, 2023, someone released spoof news, fake news that the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, was going to ban Teslas from New York. I didn't know that at the time, but I used it. I used it. So here's the hook. New York City Mayor Eric Adams is banning Teslas from the city because Teslas catch on fire, then they burn out. A little bit jolting, a little bit provocative, but what's the point of that? Come on, can you land the connection? You're introducing something weird and disconnected from what you're going to write about, force the connection. And I remember having this thought on the plane and I smiled and I was full of joy and I got my laptop out and I wrote the thing. So here's the point. What makes Teslas smart also makes them catch fire. The same can be said for strategists and the era we're in is making it harder for strategists not to burn out. Okay, so the key idea here, really describing the problem more than the solution, although it hints at a solution, is that what makes Teslas smart and what makes them catch on fire is very similar to a strategist's life. A strategist wants to be smart. They think all the time. They often don't know who they are without thinking and they risk catching on fire. Strategists can pay a heavy price for the brains that feed them. Each client brief is a test to ace, a shot at an intellectual high and a swipe at validation. But client briefs are endless and so in an industry which rewards good work with more work, strategists struggle to stop like a Tesla in flames. Okay, I'm trying to land the point here and I'm bringing through the metaphor or the analogy. And I do it again here, I'm really milking it. If timesheets were rear view mirrors in a Tesla, would most strategists like what they see behind them? Would each job code in a minute look back at them in a way they like? I'm just trying to get people to imagine what's going on, assuming they're gonna slow down and even read this thing. I want them to picture themselves in a Tesla. I'm trying to put them in the car so that they can feel what I'm riding in a more visceral way. If you're a strategist driving a Tesla down the highway of agency life, you might be close to catching on fire at risk of burning out. It's critical to dig into the reasons why to try to understand what's driving it. And so I won't go through the rest of this article in details, but the way that it sections out is I describe the problem a little bit more. So my act one in a way is quite long, although the start of act two in a lot of movies is what they call fun and games. I don't know if act two is really kicking off as I describe the problem here, but then we try to solve it. So what's driving this? There's no longer an off button. There's not enough time to think. There's too much running, too little play, which is the theme I use to start my book and I use it in a lot of my talks as well. I also talk about like you don't know what game you need to play. This is a really big issue that often strategists, they could be young or old, they're not sure how to succeed in the environment that they're in. Sometimes they struggle to work out the world that they interface with every single day, the world that pays them. And then five, marketers are judged on outputs over strategy. So these are all very straightforward. I didn't run the Tesla metaphor through all of this. It's a little bit dry. I actually wrote something like 16 to 1700 words. And so what you're seeing here, it's half of that. Now, what to do about it? This is where we go from just being provocative to being useful, hopefully. This advice is really straightforward. Ask for more time, understand your team's needs, work in ways that give you energy, talk to yourself differently. And then, you know, if things are really bad, get out. The ending is pretty quick. It's pretty abrupt. It doesn't use the Tesla metaphor here, which is something that I would fix if I went back and wrote it. This has been sub-edited, but it ends like this. Advertising is a volatile industry. Short sentence. If you bounce through three agencies in a year, people will be suspicious. And if you do this, perhaps the industry isn't built for you. However, some spades are really just spades and will only dig you a hole to fall into. So really, I should have brought the Tesla back there somehow and talked about flames, the batteries being banned, Eric Adams, New York City, so that's something that I would fix if I went back and rewrote this. But this is another example of bringing the story structure that I went through to life. 